Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you a makeshift hook that I built to uh, clean out my, my pool baskets. So, you know, a lot of the debris that gets sucked into the baskets of the pool, um, we have to clean them out. We're in the south, but pretty much anywhere I think you'd end up having this type of issue. Well, I did two things that were stupid in the past. One is when I actually took and looked inside here to get the basket out of here, you either, you have to reach down in there to grab the, the middle of the basket to pull it out, the handle of the basket. Um, in doing so, uh, we've had snakes in here before, right? Is it coming out? Mom's just videoing. Oh my god, how big is that snake? It's at least What, what kind is it? It's a I don't know. Snake. What? You sure? Yeah. It's spots. Sure. I'm pretty sure. There's black spots on it. And they just kind of sit there. They look like a stick or a piece of grass or something like that. Last thing you want to do is stick your hand in there because snakes don't die when they go in the water. They're actually pretty good swimmers, which is creepy. Oh, we're trying to climb out. You know what I don't like is that they don't die. Oh, climbing. God! They almost made it. But at the end of the day, the last thing you want to do, oh, and we, I have something in there now, which is great, especially for this video. So we also have these little chameleon things that are everywhere, right? So this thing's actually alive. You know, and it's not poisonous. That's not poisonous. I'd worry more about the snakes. But we also have issues with spiders in our, <laughs> in the area they get in the pool, and the spiders don't die either. So you definitely don't want to reach your hand in there because it'll end up biting you almost immediately because once they're in this filter thing, they're pretty ticked off at that point. So I used to use a crowbar, but I can't find it. So I was like, well, I'm not going to stick my hand in there because there was a snake in there this morning that was about eight inches long and he was super ticked off that he was in the filter, so I didn't want to stick my hand in there. So I got a pole that I was from a different project, and I just literally took the top of a curtain rod that we don't hang up anymore, and it has a hook on it, but you can make it out of anything, you know, as long as it's long enough that if there's a snake, it doesn't it bite you or whatever. And then it's gotta have a decent enough hook on it that you can actually grab the middle of the basket. So you can see that little salamander thing. I don't want them to go into the filter, but I also don't want, you know, so there we go. So at the end of the day, I built it so I could just hook the thing in there. I don't have to touch anything, right? And now I can see what's in there without a spider jumping from underneath the filter thing and getting me in the hand or something like that, right? So then I could take it and quickly dump it out and put it back in without having to worry about stupid crazy lizard that somehow got in the pool like a dummy and I could throw my basket back in and push it back down in there without ever having to stick my hand in there. So sometimes there's a lot of debris in there and you can't see the bottom. Um, right now it's pretty clean, it's not too bad um, so you can see things. But the little flap that works as your filter, um, sometimes things hide under there. That's where that snake was. He was hidden in the flap. So when I was here, I didn't, have my, I didn't have my pole with me, so I thought I'll quickly grab it and clean it out because it was pretty full. So I quickly did that and realized fast enough, at least, that <laughs> there was a snake in there, so I didn't get bit. This is not an ideal setup here, so green tape isn't really sticky. Um, but at the time, I was like, I was in a hurry, right? So I grabbed a pole I had in the garage, grabbed a hook I had, and made it work. You can do the same thing, make your own, whatever. It doesn't matter what it is as long as you can hook your basket with it. Some, they make basket hooks, sure, you can go buy one. You know, I, I misplace things so quickly when it comes to those things. Um, you can buy one of those, you can also buy the baskets that are supposedly faster and they, they're taller, but I still wouldn't stick my hand in there. Um, but it's not a big deal if it's a snake that bites you and isn't poisonous, but we're in the south, so it doesn't matter how big a copperhead hits you, um, it's probably not a good thing. So it'll ruin your day for sure. So at the end of the day, don't stick your hand inside your own baskets, um, or you might get bit by something. That would suck, uh, and it'll ruin your day. So, make something, sh make shift, buy something, whatever you need to do, but just don't put your hand in there when you're doing your cleanouts of those things. So, that's it. 